So hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Soji Gray and welcome back to the Device Hub. In this video, I'll be sharing with you four amazing Mac apps that you can install in your Mac OS devices this month. Also, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime I release a new video, you're gonna be updated instantly. So let's talk about the first app. The first app is called Meta and I really love this app because number one it lives in your menu bar and what it does is that it helps you connect easily to your meetings. So if you have any meetings in your calendar so be it Google Meet, Hangouts, Skype, FaceTime you have all those meetings listed in the menu bar and you can easily join using Meta. So as you can see here I have some meetings I would have to join and when it's time for me to join those meetings, you can see I have joined Google Meet here. I just click it and it opens the browser and I can instantly jump into that meeting. Ideally, without Meetup, what you have to do is that you have to open your browser. You'd have to type in, say, googlecalendar.com and then you have to go into the event, click join Google Meet and then you click it before you open Google Meet. It's, it's really long but I like that this is very simple. Not only that, it also tells you the next meeting you're having. So if you're going to have a meeting in five minutes time, it's going to indicate right up at the top that, oh, well, in five minutes time, you have a meeting. So it's pretty much convenient and it helps you join your meetings without no issues at all. So the second app is WeTransfer. I have been using WeTransfer for a very long time to transfer files especially large files and you know how it works right so you have a website you drag the file onto the website and then you upload it to your server and then they give you a link you can share that link for the person to download that particular file that's how it works so simple but then you'd have to go to the browser and do that i like the fact that now with mac you have it living in your menu bar so if you don't want to transfer anything at all, you're just going to click the icon in your menu bar and you'd see upload files. You click it, select the file you want to upload and you just click upload files and it's simple. Now, once you begin to upload the file, it gives you certain details like it tells you how long it's going to take just like the website and the percentage of upload that has already happened and you can actually pause resume or cancel the upload which is a great thing i love the interface it is very simple and to me any app at all that can live in the menu bar as an app that i'd love to use and we transfer just does that so simply now moving on to the third app we have menu weather plus now as the name suggests this is a weather information app so it gives you you know an update on the current weather condition right in your menu bar but if you do want to click it you can and it gives you more details like whether it's partly sunny cloudy rainy or whatsoever and your location so menu weather plus has a pro version that gives you more details like wind speed and humidity so if you do want to access those you'd have to upgrade but personally i think i'm just okay with this because if i want more weather detail i can swipe to my notification center on the right and then i can check the weather information out i don't really love to use that a lot because it doesn't appear in my menu bar i wish there was an option to have that in your menu bar and i feel menu weather plus does that for me and that's why i love it and plus it's a free app so that is a good thing to have moving on to the fourth and last app we have handshaker handshaker is an app ideally for people who own a macbook or a mac os device and an android device so for example if you're using the iphone and you own a macbook you can transfer files between both devices using airdrop but with mac and android you're stuck with android file transfer it's a great app and all that but i don't really like the user interface and it doesn't give you a lot of features as compared to handshaker so with handshaker you need to download the mac os app as well as the android app so you need to have the android app installed on your android device and then the mac app on your mac os device now this app works by connecting a usb cable from the macbook to the android device or you can use a wi-fi system in this video i'll be showing you how to do that with the usb cable so as you can see i have uh my phone here and once i connect the usb cable you'd see that this instantly connects so as you can see i have it connected and this is really pretty simple and i really love the user interface of handshaker 
So first and foremost, it gives you a lot of information right off the bat. So you can see I'm using a Pixel 3 XL. So you see the Pixel 3 XL name here. It gives me my battery details. So I'm currently charging my device. So you can see the charging indicator. And then it also tells me my remaining battery capacity as well as my remaining storage capacity. And it's able to segment all my files. So I have gallery, music, videos, downloads, and files, which is a pretty great thing. And if you do want to transfer a file from the, the Android device to the MacBook using Handshaker, it's so simple. You can just drag and drop. So for example, I want to you know drag this uh, what's it called? Android logo to the home screen of the MacBook, and I just drag it and that is that so simple as you can see here i have the android logo image here and i really love how simple it is to use this app all you need to do is connect uh the macbook to the device or your android device either using a cable or using wi-fi now if you do want to take the wi-fi route though in connecting both devices please take note that you need to have them connected to the same wi-fi now once you do that you can easily see the device on the handshaker app and you can select it and then they would connect seamlessly and i really love this app and it's something that could really help you transfer files easily. The only downside though is that with the Android app, you have a lot of apps popping up at you, which I do not like. So once you connect it, you can actually go to your home screen on your Android device and you can still have access to all your files right in the Handshaker app. So there you have it guys, four amazing apps you can try out on your macOS device. Let me know which of these four apps you are really interested in or you're going to download in the comment section below if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you did love this video hit the like button as well and let me know like just comment let me know which of these apps you're actually really digging in the comment section below i go by the name soji gray and i'll catch you in the next one peace out